We understand historically that during the enslavement of Africans on American soil, drums were taken away. Mm -hmm. So slaves use their feet mm -hmm. to communicate. And there are records of slaves using tap routines to mock slave owners mm -hmm. because they couldn't understand the symbolism and movements in the dance. Mm -hmm. It was a safe way to express disapproval and defiance, mm -hmm. like camouflage. Mm -hmm. How do you see tap as a form of dance being used in current times as a means of communication, expression, or even resistance? Well, that goes back, in my opinion, it goes back to what style of dance. Um, the style of dance that I do, I try to produce or evoke or whatever these uh, feelings of communication, these feelings of dialogue, these feelings of musicality, uh, these feelings of uh, a state of meditation, feelings of um, prayer, um, everything versus just the evident, which is dance, mm -hmm. or for the sake of entertaining. Right. Um, so again, depending on which style of tap dancing is being done at the time, mm -hmm. that, is, that will determine how it is received. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what's an example of that? I mean, what's a, a certain type of tap expression that might be perceived as being, I don't know, more in your face than, than something else? Well, again, you know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on on the great white way nowadays and whatnot, but you know, there's nothing really, um, it's just for the sake of entertaining, you know. Mm -hmm. da, 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 what do you da, call da, it? The, the biddle yeah, and... the dolly dinkle. Yeah, the dolly yeah. dinkle, okay. It's dolly dinkle, which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on what you prefer. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just for applause. You know, we, have tap, we as tap dancers, we have steps that we can do that can get you, ah, you know, applauding and whatnot like that. And then there are some of us who have sounds that we can make that will make you cry or sounds that we can make that'll make you say, ooh, mm. or think about something else. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it becomes more audio versus visual. Mm. Okay. A lot of times the visual is, um, can, be distract, can, can be distracting or can just be a throw off right. versus the sound. 